Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really special guest. I miss you, Nay. Hello. How many times? Hello. Have we, hello. <laughs> um, we have like been in each other's vlogs. We talk every day. Yeah. But we've never filmed a sit down video before together. I don't know why. Like Just... it's been we've been friends. We worked out for about three years. Yeah. And um, that's a long time considering we both do YouTube to yeah. not film a video together. <laughs> but it just shows, like, we were more in it, obviously, for the friendship. Not to just be like, uh-huh, we'll yeah. film together. I'm just going to use you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, because I think when we first met, we were, I think I was pretty connected to you. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, we're really, really similar. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like some people just kind of use collabs to maybe, like, flaunt their friendship or, yeah. you know, something. Whereas we're too bloody lazy and, to do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're too lazy. That's what's it's taken three years. <laughs> anyway, make sure you do go and check out Shanae's channel and subscribe because we just filmed an anti-haul. Yeah. So that's going to be up. Um, I don't know when this is going to go up. But we'll work yeah. it out. Go and check that out after you've watched our juicy Q&A. Juicy, juicy. So lemony. We asked for juicy <laughs> questions on our Instagram. Mm. So <laughs> I'm so excited because I haven't re I read a few when they first came Getting in. Getting so nervous. <laughs> I spill all the tea. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to jump right in. Okay. Oh my God. I don't know if I I'm got... actually scared. Oh my God. Don't be scared. Tanya Mua. <laughs> she said, why are we the best? <laughs> I don't know, hun. It I just happens hun. to people who are blessed, I guess. But then she said, thank you so much for introducing me to Keto. Changed my life. <laughs> You're welcome, Tanya. <laughs> These aren't questions just yet. <laughs> What's something you dislike about YouTube? Well, it's not something particularly about YouTube itself. I just hate editing videos. <laughs> like, I hate... Like, I actually enjoy filming. I have a lot of fun filming. And I just hate yeah. putting the video together. But about YouTube, can they just notify my subscribers that have uploaded? That'd be nice. Yeah, that would be that would be really good. That'd be gorge. You know, one thing that I really dislike is the fact that they change the algorithm. All the time. All the time. Yeah. And, like, I get that it's meant to keep us on our toes. Yeah. But it's just, like, and I get that, you know, you can't be doing the same thing all mm -hmm. the time. But it's so hard as a creator yeah. to keep on top of that and mm -hmm. then, you know, make sure you're being discovered and do all the right things. It's so hard. It is. Um, because I feel like as soon as you feel like you start getting the hang of it and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll. Because I, I definitely felt like that. And then it was just like, so yeah, so yeah. So yeah. fucking stop right what? there. So yeah. Stop right there. <laughs> You're not going to grow anymore. Um, yeah. Because my channel grew, grew, grew. Yeah. I hit like over 100K. Yeah. And then it just, it just stopped. Same um, for me. Like you said, I understand it comes down to, I guess you have to do different content, but it's like, I like what I do. Yeah. I like doing makeup. Yeah. I did this because I loved it. I didn't do it yeah. to just incline people to watch me, I guess. No. And then you're like, oh, everyone loves watching me, and now no one does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm. yeah, it's hard to deal with that. Yeah. Lauren Devereaux, what makes your eyes roll every time you hear it? <laughs> to give you a bit of tea, like, I'm not going to talk about anyone in particular. I get really annoyed <laughs> when other influencers are like, blah, 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 so dishonest, and you're like, bitch. Oh, I know so much about you. Yeah, honey. And I'm like, you cannot talk. Yeah. And they're like, because I've seen a few people complain about um not called disclosing. Disclosing sponsorships. But I'm like, your life is fake though. Yeah. So see You're sis. lying to everyone. See sis. sis. <laughs> so that's what I, that makes my eyes where I'm like, oh, shut up. Um, people ask me when I'm going to have kids. <laughs> because it's none yeah. of their business. That makes my eyes roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Justine, how do you stay motivated to eat healthy, especially with all the events you attend? I tend to not eat at the events mm. because, like, everything is, like, carby. There's either, like, things wrapped in pastry or there's arancini balls. Like, I just, mm. you know. I can't relate. Yeah, she can't relate. <laughs> can't relate. Sorry, my stomach's rumbling right now because all I want is KFC. 
<laughs> for me, like I struggle more so. I'm such an emotional eater and I haven't had the mm. best like, I don't know, month or so. Yeah. And um, I've really struggled. Like I go through where I'm like really good for a week and then I just blow it all out because I'm just yeah. like, oh, I'm having a sad day. I need to eat mm. a whole packet of Flemington fingers. That's, unfortunately, that's <laughs> me every day. Yeah. How do I stay motivated? I think I stay motivated um, for... I don't know, short-term goals kind of thing. Yeah. Um, like, we've got a trip, Dean and I are going on a trip to um, Tasmania in a couple mm-hmm. of weeks, and I'm like, okay, I've got two weeks, like, you know, just get myself into yeah. here. And I also feel really sick when I don't eat well, yeah, too. Yeah, you do. You feel really yeah. unwell, so you don't want to feel like that. So that kind of motivates me, too. <laughs> yeah. Gives me a kick up the butt. Chels Finlayson. Will you girls ever do a meetup in Melbourne? Love you both. We've done some in the past. Yeah. We haven't done one for a no, few years, haven't. though. No, we haven't. I would like to do another one. Maybe, like, when the weather gets a bit better or something. Yeah, I maybe when it's a bit warmer. Um, we'll organize one, I reckon. That'd yeah. be really nice. I'd really love to meet you guys mm. um, and, you know, connect with you like we have in the past. Because it's, it's, and I said this to someone that I met recently, like, yeah. you don't realize. Oh, literally forget. That, like, what you do until someone comes up to you and they're yeah. like, thank you so much for your videos. You really helped me. Mm. Like, words on a computer screen or, you know, on a phone, like, you can read them. But until you see someone with that emotion. Yeah. Sometimes you really forget the impact that you have on people's lives. I do. Literally, like, I never have people come up to me, but the last few months, I don't know what's in the water. I've had heaps of people come up to me, or I've been in the movies and it's dark, and the girl who was giving me popcorn, she's like, oh, I watch your videos. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I get really excited, and I totally forget that. I forget that it's, like, a real human interaction. It's so weird. But it makes me so happy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should definitely do another. So I do have a question here from Reneo, and she looks familiar. I think she served me at Sephora once, so Mm -hmm. hello. Um, She asked, have you ever had a bad run-in with another YouTuber? (laughs) I don't think I I have. I've had had a little... (laughs) And, like, I mean, I didn't even know who the person was mm. when they, I went to an event and I was with Nakia and I went to the toilet and then um, I was on the way out and I opened the door. The other girl came in and, like, she kind of flew in, like, really quick. And then, like, you know when you do the yeah, which that, way? Yeah, that bob. And then she said, what did she say to me? She said something like, are you Okay like got right up in my face and said something like that to me and I just like I you got I, a bit startled I did yeah. I didn't know what like and I just went out to Nakia and I was like I'm shaking like honestly oh. like I think she said like are you good or something like that oh. and I was just like oh, uh, uh, like I just laughed it off in the moment yeah. but like I just didn't know like Chris I, I would have been like uh, 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 like I, I, I would have gotten scared yeah I did I, I, don't I, like I was like shaking yeah I don't like confrontation it makes me nervous <laughs> yeah, yeah, me either. Yeah. Uh, so, like, that's the only, that's the worst, like, you know, have, what was the question? Have you been confronted or Oh, the run worst run-in, yeah. Yeah. But, you good? <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's literally what she did. She was just like, you good? Like, are you good? Like, don't fucking attack me. I'm scared. Yeah. That's kind of, like, the worst thing that has happened to yeah. me. Personally. So God, I feel, like, a bit anxious even talking about that. Because it, like, honestly, mm. it, like, you just don't expect something like that to happen. Yeah. And just the tone that she used, it was just like, really oh my God, aggressive. are you going to bash me? Yeah, <laughs> really aggressive. Of like, I've never had, like, a run-in. Like, I've obviously had um experiences where, like, not shit's gone down, but, like, bitching and all that. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. That, that's pretty normal, the bitching, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, But I've never had that happen to me, thank God. Ebecca13, she has asked, what do you admire most in the other person? Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> don't cry! <laughs> um, what do I admire the most? Oh, should I? I don't know. I think it's... I Legit, don't... like, we've all cried. <laughs> like, I don't know, your your kindness? Mm. Like, am I your really heart? That, am I really that kind? Don't, don't <laughs> cry, don't cry, you make me cry. My eyes are getting water. I think it's... <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> This is, me and Crystal are really, really bad because <laughs> we actually make each other cry and everyone looks at us weird. Like when we were at the, 
<laughs> when we were at the races a few years ago and she had a subscriber come up to where Crystal was bawling her eyes out. I was legit bawling. I started bawling my eyes out and Nikita's just like, all right, sis, <laughs> just looking at us. I was like crying. I'm like, oh my God, Crystal. <laughs> we're hopeless. Yeah, I think your kindness, like your heart is okay. just like so nice. <laughs> like you are just, you're always there for for your friends and like, well, and me. Yeah. And like, yeah, you're always there to listen and give advice and yeah. I try. <laughs> my eyes are so watery now. Um, What do I admire in you? I think the same thing. Uh-huh. Definitely, um... Your kindness, and I also feel like when um, I tell you stuff, like if I need a vent, you will always hold it to yourself, and you won't like go around and tell other people. I guess what I said, like if I'm just, I'm, I'm very upset, yeah, yeah, and I just need to let it off my chest, and I know like I'll move on once I let it off yeah. my chest. Like you'll be that person, yeah, to just listen to me, yeah, and you'll be like, it's fine, like you always come down. <laughs> So, yeah, no, there's so many things, though. Yeah, so many things. That's just, you know, one little... I guess we wouldn't still be friends. No. We hated each other. Exactly. (laughs) You're not my friend anymore. (laughs) I fucking hate you. (laughs) Jacob and Tanya are going to roll their eyes when they see us. I know! They're going to be like, oh my god, (laughs) sis. That's a juicy one. Is there anything about being an... Oh, no, being a beauty influencer you hate, except example fake people in the industry oh we could do a whole video of fake people in the industry like honestly so much tea why are we so lemony (laughs) plus size us so i guess you know do you feel the pressures of social media like seeing things or people online and not feeling good enough i know people that aren't youtubers feel this a lot when you scroll and constantly see images of perfection on Mm -hmm. instagram and things like that but i'm curious how you guys that are actually in the YouTube world react. So I guess if you do feel pressure, how do you deal or cope with it? I think for me, mm. like you can look at a picture, but like I know that it's not real. Yeah, I, I know now. Mm. But at the same time, I still can fall into the pit of um, Definitely. Not, not feeling good enough. Yeah. And do you know what I always think about? This is so random. You know when a lot of YouTubers go on brand trips and they go, let's say to Bora Bora or whatever, and I'm like... I don't know if I could stand next to all these beautiful women who are in these bikinis Mm. and they're getting their Instagram photos. And I'm like, it's bad to say, but I don't feel good enough. I don't think I would feel good enough to stand next to all of those people. Oh, I definitely wouldn't feel confident. I wouldn't feel confident. And because I wouldn't be confident, I don't think I would show any sexiness because I'd be (laughs) like, I'd be like this. I'd be like, I can't, I can't fucking do this. Um, Yeah, I just, I... I do fall into that sometimes where I don't feel good enough. And I even say that to Jared. I'm like, I don't going, like going to makeup events and, you know, everyone's so glam and beautiful. And I'm just like, am, am I good enough to be here? Um, I get what you mean. Like there definitely is, especially with events and everything, yeah. like you do feel the pressure, but mm-hmm. I guess, and it's all about loving yourself and that self-confidence. Yeah. And you know, some people do have it. Some people work on it. Some people don't have it. Yeah. It's all about learning that about yourself Mm. and then knowing how to deal with it in the best way. And you know what? Sometimes you have a day or, you know, before an event that you're just like, no, nothing fits me. I'm not going, you know. And you're allowed to have that. Um, (laughs) That's normal. It really is normal. You know, sometimes I'm really, really confident. Sometimes I'm not. And it just, it just happens that way. I'm definitely much more confident than I used to be. Like, I think YouTube's helped me, helped me with that. Um, Yeah. Like, if someone told me that I'd be filming videos for L'Oreal in front of 20 people years years ago when I was in school and I failed drama because I didn't want to get up and perform in front of people. Oh, my god! Literally yeah, yeah. failed. I literally failed the class yeah. because I'm like, nah, not doing it. And then mm-hmm. I sat in front of a cameraman with, like, 20 people in the room, like, all on their laptops and all, like, watching me and all directing me. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have believed any of that. Oh, I'm so proud of you for doing that. Yeah. Like, that's... I know how nervous you were about yeah, it. Yeah, I was shaking. And even I know when you told me about... Um, you were contacted by Maybelline, and you're like, oh, my God, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm like, no, I don't think it's going to be like that. Yeah. And it's, I you would, know, regardless, I would have done it probably. Yeah. But, you know, I was nervous. I know you were. Yeah. And you did really well. Yeah. And even, like, the shoot day, we had to go in and take photos, and, like, I was the first girl up, started really early before anyone else for myself and I just I just did it yeah you just yeah. do it and I was like I can't believe I'm 
in a like having yeah. a photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so weird, but um, I've overcome. Uh, overcome a lot yeah a lot of stuff and each time you do something you you get a bit more confident mm-hmm. at it like my first event that I went to oh my god I was shitting myself yeah like definitely I felt like I was gonna vomit oh yeah <laughs> like sweating like nervy poos like everything yeah. <laughs> nervy poos <laughs> Totally, yeah. Um, but, you know, each time you do something, you get a bit better at it. You get more confident. Um, mm. I don't know. You just have to take each day as it comes. Yeah. But I definitely know what you mean about, like, looking through Instagram and everything like that. But, yeah, I guess from our point of view, we know what's real and what's fake. We do, definitely. Have you girls ever had a big argument? If so, what it was about? I don't think... No, I don't not, between, not, between, not, not between us. No, not between us. <laughs> there have been... Kerfuffles. Yeah. Um, maybe in... In friendship groups. Yes, but yeah, definitely. That we've yeah. been in. Um, but yeah, not between us. No, not... No, never. No. Which scares me because I don't want... To, I don't want it to happen because <laughs> we'll both I know. cry. Don't you make me cry. No. <laughs> Emily Wilmer, if you hadn't met through YouTube, do you think you and Shanae would still be friends? No. <laughs> Probably not because the thing is, like, I don't have many friends in my real life. And... Well, me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> and I think it's because we have this connection that we yeah. do the same thing. We understand what each other is going through. We have that fi- that common interest. Yeah. And that's why we are so such good friends mm. because we can relate on so many levels. Not, the, not just the fact that we film videos, yeah. but like our interests of makeup and mm-hmm. beauty and, and everything – they're the same. Yeah, and, and we don't live, like, directly next to each other either. Yeah. So maybe we would have passed... Cross paths. Cross, cross paths <laughs> once. Um, but I don't... Yeah, I don't know if we yeah, would have actually... probably not. Nah, not, but, like, with anyone. With Jacob, no, Tanya, nah. like, would we have ever met? Probably not. Bridget, Emily, any YouTubers who don't deserve the fame they have gotten? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a few... <laughs> There's, there's a few, I think. <laughs> a few. Oh, it's so, like, I just want to tell you, but, like... Can, can we say, there was one person that we used to be friends with. Yeah. Um, and I feel like she used her position to climb her way up. Yeah, definitely. And would say that she didn't have any friends when... You know, we were trying to reach out to our yeah, friends. Yeah, definitely. We really were. Um, and it's not like we asked to film videos with her or, it, like, you know, like, we weren't. Because yeah. usually you can tell when people are, like, trying to, like, use you. Because I've had people come into my life, like, people I don't know very well. Yeah. I'm um, just acquaintances. And they're like, oh, you've got that many followers. Oh, how did you get all those followers? Yeah. And it's just like. Can we talk about something else? Yeah. Like, I, I don't tell people I do YouTube. No, I don't. When I meet them. Yeah. I don't tell no. people I do Instagram. Um, usually people just find it. If they find it, they find it. Yeah. Um, but it's not like we were doing that to her. No, no, not it's at not all. It's not like we're like, oh, you've got so many followers and like gassing her up kind of thing. Yeah, no. Like, no, we really just would. Well, we just wanted to be a friend. Yeah. And we're trying to be there for her because she was, she was struggling with, I guess, um, mental illness. Yeah, mental illness and stuff like that. But then it was like, you know, as, catch her. as much as you can put out, you know, that you're here, Yeah, it hurts to be shut down. Yeah. And there was also, there was a, you know, a bit of a lie that she told me and mm-hmm. I, that was a drawing line for me. Yeah. That was it. You also have to meet halfway. Um, you can only help people if they want to be yeah. helped. There's, yeah. There's a few people there. And there's a few other people as well that, um, that, you know, like I, we've heard a, divas behind the scenes yeah. and um but even like your experience with her like I've had experience with someone who we used to like we used to talk to like we used to talk to each other all the time and then suddenly it was like see I'm too good for you I'm not going to talk to you anymore and that I like full cried about it because <laughs> I messaged you because I think I was disappointed because I was like like you want to see the best in them I know and then I was like don't worry about it yeah, that was really disappointing. Yeah. And then there's then there's people that used to talk to you and just now blatantly ignore you. It happens all the time. Because they've grown in their subscribers and they've overtaken you and yeah. for whatever reason you're not good enough for yeah. them anymore. To even, you know, we can be here with um, someone who has more subscribers than them. And they'll talk to and them. And they'll talk to them and won't even acknowledge us. Yeah. Oh, 
ups. <laughs> yeah. When they when they overtake you, they unfollow you and unsubscribe from you. Yeah. You know, that, that does actually happen. Yeah. They pretend like you don't exist. Yeah. But anyway. They're not worth the time. And you know what? Those people who do that and are in for that stuff will never actually no. completely succeed and they'll always be unhappy. They will never be happy. Because we yeah. did this because we loved yeah. it. Yeah. That's why we're still doing it. Exactly. You know, obviously, like, we haven't, you know, we're at 100,000 subscribers. Like, you know, we don't make enough money to mm. have a lavish lifestyle or, yeah. you know, even it's not our full-time well, she job. she doesn't have a lavish lifestyle either, hun, so yeah. it's fine. But, like, even to have as our full-time job, we don't make enough money from no. it. But we do it because we love it. Yeah. It's a, an interest of ours. It, and, shows in, yeah. it shows in people's videos, though. You'll know who loves it and who doesn't. Yeah. So. Some people hide it really well, though. Yeah. Sometimes their followers don't know. Ali said, have you ever had any problems with any other YouTubers? And if you have, what was it? Well, yeah. Those kind of things. Yeah. Are there any other ones that you want to talk about? Spill the tea. <laughs> See, like like you said, it's so common for people who are, sm like, smaller than you, not that I give a shit, to comment, comment, comment on your stuff, comment, and then they let's say they pass you, they're like, they unfollow you and everything, and you're like, what? Really? Mm. Are you for real? Because <laughs> followers can go like that. They're not going to last forever. Oh, no. Well, you know what? If you any of you ever get into this industry, don't burn your bloody bridges because yeah. word gets around. Yeah. I've had a problem with someone spreading rumours about me. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know who the this is. The things that I've heard. They spread rumours <laughs> about, get this, you guys are going to laugh. You're going to piss. Um, you're going to piss. <laughs> they said that um, Dean and Rachel, you know my friend Rachel, Rachel Lee, they had a thing or something. Mm. Yeah, they said you were very upset about it and, like, I guess they... And Rachel was trying to, like, hit on Dean. Yeah. Flirt with him. While Rachel had a boyfriend yeah. who was there. Wasn't the one who made up the rumour actually hitting on Rachel's boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> and we got another one. Um, we had someone... Um, Say that Crystal's buying fake followers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Telling everyone that she yeah. bought fake followers. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was juicy. Yeah, that was juicy. Juicy drama. Um, yeah, that was pretty funny. And Crystal, like, full confronted. I confronted who <laughs> I heard said it about me. And that was a, that was a big thing for me. Because, yeah, you know, I don't not... like co confrontation. No. I hate it. And, you know, I confronted who... It came out of their mouth and they yeah. denied it. I don't know. They must have heard it from somewhere because it definitely came from their but mouth. But do you feel but... like everything stopped once you confronted it? Yeah, well, I never heard anything again. Yeah. So. I, I, it was so funny because Crystal, I was with Crystal at the time. She's like, I'm just going to confront her. I'm going to confront her. And I, I started sweating as well. I was like, because I get so nervous. <laughs> and like, so Crystal went off to confront them and I was standing there talking we were at, like, an event, and I was talking to this woman, and as much as this woman was talking to me, my other ear was, like, trying to listen to what was going on. And this poor woman's like, oh, we got this, and we got that, and I'm just like... Yeah, I don't care about your products, I'm trying to listen I don't to care, I'm trying to listen to the drama. <laughs> I have never done anything like that in my life, like, I honestly. I was just like, no, I'm not going to let people talk shit about me. Mm. And You don't even know me. I don't, yeah, I... I didn't even know who she was yeah. until I heard this and I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, so weird. I don't know. People, people are so weird, especially like, I guess people are going to be like this in any industry, but we've come across such hot and cold people. Oh yeah. Like one minute they're hi, hi, whatever. And then the next minute they're ignoring you and you're like, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I just like... I just do YouTube at home. Like, yeah, I why, know. Why is this such a big deal? I just sit in my room filming videos. Like, I don't know why people... And you know what? Like, potentially, maybe we've come across like that to people. Yeah. Like, unintentionally mm. come across that. But honestly, like, I don't know. Compared yeah. to some of the people that we've met, like... I always oh, try sis. to let off, like, a little smile yeah. if someone does stare at me. Um, And it's... Even more like a punch in the vagina <laughs> when <laughs> when you smile at someone and they go and you're just like sis 
and they're like you know what though i do have really bad eyesight <laughs> <laughs> Well, and I think no, that, but like I mean, these people are like they've been staring at yeah. you for like ten minutes. Yeah, true. Yeah, and then you're like, and they're just like, there's someone in particular that will say like hello and goodbye to other people, but us. <laughs> and we're like sitting next. Yeah, to, that that happened when we were with Nakia. Yeah, we're sitting next to Nakia, and they're like, bye Nakia, bye Nakia. Oh, Crystal, you there? I'm not gonna say goodbye to you. Yeah, yeah. Literally. And now and now they don't even speak to us. They'll ignore us. They'll go out of their way to ignore us, I feel. And I'm just like, I'm not giving you anything either, hun. Sometimes I like to be the bigger person, and by bigger person I mean, like, be, Same, be re- nice. Be nice, but be really sarcastic. Yeah. Like, I just oh, think, my God, hello, how are you? I just think, I just, you're not worth my time. Like, no. I, I could be talking to my friends. Exactly. Or, you know, getting to know other people that yeah. um, are genuine. There's a lot of people who are really different in their videos compared to what they oh, are so in real life. Yes, yeah, so many. You would be shook, hun. Shook. Shooketh. You would, you'd piss on the floor. <laughs> I think we need to stop this here. Okay. Yeah. But at least you've got a lot to play with. Yeah. Yeah. And like cut whatever you want. I'll put all the juicy bits the, in. Put the juicy bits in. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you found it juicy enough. <laughs> really juicy. Don't forget to check out Sinead's channel, subscribe, and um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I was kidding myself, now I know you don't love me